Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, recently we had a booth at the Maker Fair, which if you've never been to a Maker Fair or you've never participated in a Maker Fair, it's totally fun and I suggest you do it. But here's the thing. We had all of our great crafts. We had duct tape and we had recycled crafts and all different kinds of creative things. But the one thing that stood out as something that people were really interested in was this crazy little seashell caterpillar. It's the funniest thing. We must have had at least 25 little kids come up and take the little caterpillar and start playing with him. I swear to you, we were all convinced that by the end of the Maker Fair, this little guy was going to be gone because so many people picked him up and so many little kids were like, I love this little caterpillar. So anyway, I thought that I would show you how to make your very own seashell caterpillar right now. And it's awfully cute and awfully easy. So I'm going to teach you how right now. So for this, we are going to be using scallop shells. And I've got seven scallop shells here. And you want to try to make sure that they are about the same size. So this is where you can go take a nice walk on the beach and try to find yourselves seven scallop shells, nice and cleaned off, that stack upon themselves. And you're going to need seven little medium-sized puff balls. Now the thing about these pom-pom puff balls is they're all the same color, but you can make yours different colors if you would like to, if you want to make a rainbow caterpillar. I'm going to be using a pipe cleaner. These are going to be for the antenna. I'm going to be using some googly eyes. I'll need my scissors. And I've got two tiny little seashells that I'm going to put at the ends of my antenna, but those are optional. I'm also going to be using my handy dandy glue gun and a gluing surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the puff balls and I'm going to take one of the seashells and this is what you want to think about. These are going to be the little feet of your caterpillar, these little bottoms. So I'm going to put my glue right here on the convex part, which is the part that rounds out and up. I'm going to put that blob of glue right there and just stick his little head right in the middle. There we go. Now I'm going to make his antennas. Now for his antennas, you can make these as long as you want. I'm going to make mine about a thumb length, which is about an inch and a half, two inches there. I'm going to cut two of them. And then what I'm going to do is just going to put a bit of glue. Now this is really, really important. Don't burn yourself here because this is where easy to get burned because you're going into this fuzzy part here. So I've put the glue on the tip and I'm squishing it in where the fuzzy part is. And I'm going to do the same thing again here. Put the glue. Be very careful there. The more glue you get, the easier it is to burn yourself. And I'm just going to put it right in there. Now, if you feel more comfortable using something like scissors or something like that to push the fuzz up and against it, you can. And then you're just going to round these down to make the little antenna, just like that. Now, this is where, if you want to, you can add these little tiny seashells just to be the end of the antenna, if you like. But you don't have to. You know, it's always up to you what you want to do. Oop, I just pulled this antenna out. Try that one more time. Add a little bit more glue. I should have waited for it to really dry. There we go. And now again, be very careful with the glue because it's hot. I have been doing hot gluing projects for so long that really my fingers are almost like Teflon. I mean, it doesn't really hurt me when I touch the hot glue, but I really don't want to see you get burned. Okay, now I'm going to add these little googly eyes. So I'm going to put another little blob of glue right here. And remember, you know, you don't have to use hot glue. You could always use regular glue. It's just going to take longer for it to dry. There you go. So you have to do it in stages. Okay, there's his little head. Now we're just going to add the rest of his body. And for the rest of these, 
we're going to be using the convex side, which is the side that, like a spoon, the inside of a spoon, the convex side. And this is pretty easy. All you're going to do is take a little bloop of glue on the convex side here. And you're going to go bloop and stick it right like that. And like that. Now, I need to replace my glue stick, so hang on one second here while I put another one in. Okay, so now I'm just going to place a blob of glue on the convex side and keep adding my seashells one at a time. Concave, convex, concave. This is a great way to learn your concave and your convex, huh? And you can see, you can see how he's starting to take on his shape here. Now you can make him as big or as little as you want. I just found that seven was a nice, good number. That it made him have enough uh, wiggle, but not too much wiggle. And again, this is a great project to do if you're, say, at the beach. You can go hunting for seashells. Just make sure you clean those seashells really nice. And then make sure that, let's put that glue right there. Make sure that um, you dry them really, really well. Because the one thing that does not mix well with hot glue is water. Water and hot glue don't mix very well. Now, it's fine once you get it glued to get it wet. But what I found is that hot glue on like a wet surface does not do very well. Now there you go. That's all there is to making your little guy. See? And his little legs keep him upright. Just like a little wiggle worm. Boop, 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 boop. And that's all there is to making your very own seashell caterpillar. I just love the way he kind of moves around. Isn't that adorable? For more fun things that you love, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.